Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. We're going to be playing Dead Space. Oh yes, um, had this one kind of on the back burner a little bit. Um, I because basically I wanted to play through the game first once before I actually started recording it. Now that did take a little bit longer than I thought. Um, <laughs> the first video was scheduled to go up today, and it's um, uh, twenty past ten in the evening. Um, now my plan for this game is to run through it once, which I've done off camera, and then go back to the new game. <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Indeed, lad. Um, and then go New Game Plus. Now, after already going through this game once, I can say without uh, any hesitation that this remake is phenomenal. And this is the benchmark of uh, what we should be expecting from a remake in the future. Uh, it, it, it's, it has some performance issues uh, on my... 4080 which is interesting they're not too bad but it does uh, have a few stutters here and there but apart from that it's pretty good now the reason i want to do new game plus is because we've got like quarter of a million uh yeah quarter of a million in cash and 25 power nodes completed on medium um and i got the one gun achievement but you actually get a secret ending if you do the game uh on new game plus so that's kind of what i was interested to do let's go starting a new game plus will carry over your weapons items credits and upgrades from your completed playthrough they can be retrieved from the storage of any store you encounter you can expect to face new enemies yes also new enemies as well and perhaps a few new mysteries to uncover mm. now this this is a new game plus let's go so, difficulty, story. Uh, Isaac deals much more damage, takes... See, this is the thing. Um, I played through it on normal difficulty. When I originally went into this, I don't remember it asking me for a difficulty. So, we went with medium. Um, so, anyway, Isaac deals much more damage, takes much less damage. His oxygen tank lasts much longer. He also heals automatically, and enemy grappling attacks are much easier to escape. Easy. Medium. Enemies and Isaac both take baseline damage. And hard. Isaac takes much more damage. Enemies take much less damage. I think we should try on hard. I'm going to be honest. Um, I played it through on medium, obviously. And yeah, it was definitely too easy. Um, I died twice and both times were my own fault so let's go now there is a another difficulty mode that we can unlock called impossible but you have to get through the entire game without dying once so yeah nah I'm good if you die once it's back to the beginning and you have to um, yeah start from the beginning Saves gone. Okay, we should actually have audio now. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. That's it? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out. You still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. This rumor is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls, it's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over him and reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed. Imagine 
Six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? Did you track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with the job. I ran standard CEC background checks with Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly, responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Battery critical. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. Someone picked up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Uh, sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, max. Great. That gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson. Charging battery. Gravity tethers engaged. Charging battery. We're losing control. What? We're up court. Daniel. Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit. Shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hall. Jen, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Call him the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Compter down. We lost support booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity cores of a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Well, that was rough. Still, could have been worse. I mean, I don't really know how it could have been worse, but it could have been worse. Here we are, chapter one, new arrivals. Well, looks like our ship is banged up. That's not great, never mind. Damn, that's a lot of sparks. So it looks like we've got our first log here. They're like, wait for me, guys. Seriously. Disappearing off into the distance. Yeah, uh, we'll read that text log in a minute. Kind of an interesting one. A little bit of background. Yeah. At least we didn't take out the sign. What particular sign are we talking about? That one. Thirty-four planet cracks, eh? Uh, 
Captain Matthias, huh? Okay. Sounds like quite a guy. Alright, sink the rig, you say. We can handle that. Right there, Chen. I like these pulse rifles. They just look like massive... I don't know. <laughs> like They look like something out of Fallout 3. They look pretty bad, but hey. Pretty comical. Oh, uh, thank you. Rig synced. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer Jacob Temple. Sounds Location. like a plan. Error. Employee not found. Well, that's not great. Read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Hmm, strange. Gee, I hope this ship isn't like, uh, you know, just one giant hive belonging to a religious cult or something. A religious space cult? No. No, that's silly. Let's go. Money. We like money. We're going to be collecting a lot of money. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This place looks pretty... Pretty sterile, if I'm being honest. Not sure there's much uh, life on board. Yeah. Somebody definitely left Where's in a hurry. Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. We'll catch up on these logs in a minute. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. That security console's still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done yeah. Alright. Well, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned here, Cam. This definitely isn't your uh, standard gig, that's for sure. Something died in the air vents. Oh. Something died in the air vents. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, you can see the hitches and the performance issues. Right, well, let's go see what we can find, shall we? Well, we've got a working computer here. Load the damage report. Let's do our job, I guess. It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevators. Ooh. Anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. I don't like the sound of this. Oh. Uh. Oh, we need to go. <laughs> we really need to go. Like now, run. Oh, hi, hello. Nice to meet you. I'll be coming back to have a chat with you later with my plasma cutter. Ooh, run. Yeah, we can't defend ourselves at all. Oh, hi. <laughs> Do you mean to go on? Covered in blood. Lovely. Oof. Well. Welcome to the Ishimura. We're going to have a good time here. Can't stomp yet. Cut their limbs off. Alright. We can manage that. Very nice. Oh, she's a peach. So, we've got our faithful weapon here. Now, you can see this one is fully upgraded. It actually looks different because we've maxed it out. Which is going to be important for a hard playthrough, I think. 
Alright, let's go grab up all this stuff as well whilst we're here. Sounds like somebody's in trouble and could probably use our help. Probably. Okay. That's what I like about this game. There's no fucking around. Ooh. Well, he had a bad time. Interestingly enough, so did he. Jesus. Jesus ain't here, man. Alright, so I thought the enemies would be a little bit tougher. Now, this game has kind of like a randomized uh, system to it. Whereas, if you keep repeating areas over and over again, random events can happen from lockdowns, enemies, creepy stuff. It's kind of cool. Alright, looks like it's quiet. Got the chief. Look, he's had a bit of a mischief. Oh, small med pack. Don't mind if I do. We'll be popping those. I have a Pez dispenser. Isaac. Oh my god, Isaac. You made it. Just, I think so. They're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw? Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. So, we've got to get the tram running again, eh? Well, this feels like slipping on a uh, old comfortable pair of jeans, doesn't it? Alright, let's go start working on this tram system. Now, blue lights mean that we can uh, loot these lockers. Um, there's a lot of stuff to loot in this game. It's really satisfying. Um, no power node doors anymore, which is also really satisfying. Power nodes are just used for... Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Power nodes are literally just used for weapon upgrades this time, which is fun. I don't know how many save slots there are, so we're just going to start at the bottom. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we've got a good stack of power nodes as well from when I uh, have already completed the game. Now, we do have our trusty scanner that still tells us where to go as well, which is good. But the game wants us to go that way, so we're going to go that way and have a little bit of an exploration. Oof. Damn. A lot of luggage here. It's okay, that means we have a lot of things. Now, this is going to illustrate what we have in this game instead of power node rooms. Ah, oh, hello, sir. You look kind of not dead. Shocked. Shocked. Yeah, so instead of power node rooms, we now have these circuit breakers. Um, if you look, we have one blue bar, which means we have one unit of power. So we can either turn on the target, the cargo hall storage, or we can turn on the maintenance bay. Let's check out storage first, shall we? Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Introduce yourself. 
or not. What a dick. Made me waste my ammo. That's fine. Ammo seemed to be somewhat plentiful. Come on. You're not shy, are you? Yeah, he's shy. Right, so bronze semiconductors. Semiconductors we sell for money. Money is good. Nodes are our upgrade. We use them to upgrade our suit and our weapons. And nothing else this time round. Alright, stay frosty, Isaac. Ooh. More ammo. Right, let's switch this over to this one. See if we can find something cool this way. We got a save point. Save points as well are like incredibly plentiful, which is going to be great. I guess we're just going to keep saving. Doesn't seem to be a limit of how many save spots we get. Wakey wakey. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms and legs. Did that even kill them? Or did they just stop moving? Uh, well, I mean, they kind of just stopped moving, to be honest. To be fair, one thing I will say is I was expecting a little bit more from this difficulty, but I suppose it's a little bit unfair as we're running around with like, you know, pretty high end gear, but whatever. Once we get our Kinesis module and all that fun stuff, we can really fuck with them. And I think that's one of the big uh, differences that Dead Space always had compared to some of its other uh, games in the genre. Dead Space was just always fun. Oh, hello. Get the hell out of here. And it does say about dismembering enemies and stuff like that, which does help, but you don't actually seem to have to. At least not in this one. Right, what have we got? We've got some nice plasma energy, we'll take that. Okay, so nothing down there. Now enemies can jump out at you pretty much anywhere. So you really do want to be staying on your toes. Now one cool thing about this game, that this game really does get right as well, is the inventory system. Now obviously we already have our inventory system um, pretty much maxed out. Which is fine, but the inventory wasn't much of an issue to start off with, to be honest. Not in this game. Right, we're good. Let's go. Go take a ride upstairs. We have a really useful map as well, very detailed map. And look at Isaac's armor, looks so cool. This is the level 5 suit. I actually have a level 6 suit as well. But I unlocked that at the end of my last playthrough. So I haven't used that yet. But as soon as we get to a shop, we shall equip that. Bad boy, just see what it's like. Pretty confident it's gonna be cool. Nice, got a med kit. Now, do we actually start with anything? We actually don't start with anything. Good to know. Good to know. Ah. How green do you think I am, honestly? Gonna have to try harder than that game. We've got some loot. You can hear that tapping on the pipes. That's like one of those random sound effects that can just start playing. 
Now in the uh, original game, we used to have those lockdown rooms, another text log. We will get caught up with these text logs, but not just yet. Yeah, in the original game, we had some really cool uh, lockdown rooms, and that still happens in this one. So we can turn off the elevators or we can turn off the lights. We're going to have to turn off the lights. But uh, lockdown rooms are a random event this time around. Which adds a nice little bit of a fuck factor to the game. And especially with the new enemies that we're going to encounter. I don't know what the new enemies are. They're called phantoms, apparently. And I, for one, am really looking forward to them. Right, we're good. So I think it's fair to say that this game is everything that the Callisto Protocol should have been. No stupid combat. No stupid weapons that are fun on paper, but just something missing with them. And the enemies in this game are just fun to fight. We do have a melee system. Which is basic, but I guess adequate. Right, there we go. Who's next? Who's next? Now, we actually have an upgrade for this weapon, which allows us to just straight up knock these enemies down, which is kind of fun. It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't actually do a lot of damage to them, as you can see, but it allows you to stun lock them which you can really use to your advantage. Having said that... Having said that... Look how much damage we took there. Now we don't know if that enemy was attacking us... or... If that was something to do with the power that we were using. Not sure. Anyway, we've opened this one up now. Loot. Glorious loot. And an upgrade bench. Another text log, which we will catch up with. Uh, actually, we should be able to read this one. To M. Smith from J. Wright, Poker Knight. Keeping this uh, off Wrigling. In case Benson's listening in, you in for poker night, or are you going to let uh, Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? Ooh. I'm in. But can you not invite Pavey this time? I know he's still blaming himself for Sir Crosby's accident and everything, but nobody wants to hear about anybody's fucking nightmares. Especially the one where he saw Sarkozy up and walking around with half his head missing. Oof. And don't give me shit about it. I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? But my dad was sitting next to my bed, talking to me. Felt so real I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. And trust me, that's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. Smith. Oof. Rough. Grab the data board. We can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniel, watch that door. Okay, so these here, this marker, marker fragment. These are only available in New Game Plus, and we need to collect all of them uh, to unlock the secret ending. So, that is what we're going to do. I don't think we can actually upgrade anything. Uh, I do want to save these nodes. We've got nearly 30 nodes. Because I want to max out our suit. Let's 
so upgrades and everything basically play out the same way. Alright, Mark 6 suit, let's go. So we've got the data board. Now, as far as I can understand, there's one of those markers. I'm guessing on every chapter. Somebody's making a hell of a lot of noise. Come on. You know you want some of this. Oh, he's over there. I can see him in the shadows. Well, here he comes. We're good? I think we're good. Cool. Let's get out of here. Fleshy, meaty bastards. Still go down the same way. Right. Excellent. Not bad. I think we had a relatively... Ooh. Must have been a corpse there that I didn't see. <laughs> I going to say we had a relatively painless trip. Alright. Maybe not quite so painless it would seem. Alright. We're actually out of time already. Damn. I think we're going to leave it there, guys. When we come back, we're going to continue to repair the board. Hmm. These enemies, they do like to sneak up on you. And uh, one issue with this game um, is they have made it dark. Very dark. Uh, way darker than I actually remember it. But there we go. Uh, it's a absolutely fantastic remake and I hope you're going to enjoy it. When we come back we will read the rest of those text logs and I will make a note of it so I don't forget this time. So thanks for watching guys and as always, till next time.